Hello folks and welcome to episode 31 of the 10 minute modeling challenge, which is turning out to be the 10 minute low poly modeling challenge, but that's okay with me. Luckily enough, I like low poly, so I think I'll stick to that style for now. And then I'll have to practice some high poly in the future. This week, a few more merch samples came along, so I tested those out to see what the quality was like and also what the prints was like. Otherwise, I've also got vacation this week, so I'm not really working on the RTS game at the moment, but I'm still trying to fit in videos, and I've just recorded four hours of a Unity tutorial that I'm editing now. I'm hoping to release that in the next uh, couple of days, hopefully. It's going to be an exciting one, and it's going to be for the absolute beginners or people that want to make sure that they've covered all the basics. And it's also going to teach you how to write your first C-sharp script, if you're scared of that sort of stuff check that video out it's coming out very soon so with vacation been chilling a bit in the garden uh, playing a lot with the kids uh, the weather's been pretty nice so we've also been out for some walks around the area where i live here in Nynäshamn in Sweden and uh, saw some boats that I will never be able to afford probably but it was nice to see them and we've been riding some bikes a little bit uh, mainly the kids may i just learned how to ride bicycle the other day so she's uh, going up and down the street and I even hopped on mine for a few minutes as well, brush up on my wheelie skills. <laughs> that said, we're going to go into today's topic. If you've seen those isometric pixel art images of uh, little city blocks or something like that, I guess it's a bit like a diorama. I'm going to model like a little slice out of a town and make it the... so it should hopefully look all right in isometric view. So basically that's just a orthographic non-perspective, but you have a, an angle to it, so it looks uh, a little bit weird sometimes but the style could look pretty cute as well, especially for pixel art, it looks good. So maybe it'll work for low poly as well, who knows? So with that said, let's get started. Clara, Badiga, go. Yes, and we're off. Tab into edit mode, select that face, control I and delete all those faces. We'll just keep the top one. Control, snap it down, scale 10. Control R, let's make 19 loop cuts to keep it in sync here with the grid. And then seven on the keypad, top view, and then let's select for some road segments here. Let's just do something like this. And then uh, Control I again. We want to raise up E here to raise the sides a little bit. Control I to invert. Control minus. Make it dark like tarmac or asphalt. I to inset. I to inset again. Control plus to expand selection. B and hold the shift key and deselect the tarmac now. So we just get the road markings. G on the left side and make those white. Then do box select. Let's make uh, something here for, uh, it could be like a building there, maybe a car wash. Here could be maybe a diner and some other building, <laughs> maybe a post office or something here. And here could be another building, whatever sort, and maybe a little shed there or something <laughs> in a town. I don't know. Uh, e to extrude two units. And then now I'm actually going to, oh, period individual origin scale and make some rooftop things. E to extrude, I to inset, E to extrude again. Now I'm going to control plus a whole bunch of time. Let's make these white so they pop out a little bit. Control minus, just select this top and make that really dark to make the, a lot of contrast in the picture. Now I could do, uh, for this one, I actually want to make it a little bit different. This is going to be a skyscraper thing, but I can still keep it maybe like that. So I'll E to extrude that one up a bit. It's not going to be a skyscraper, but a taller building anyway, or part of it, maybe. So I'll select that one, Control plus out to make that a little bit different so it doesn't look like the same roof as the others, maybe like this, and then make it a little bit brighter, like that. Okay, so <clears throat> pardon me, this is going to be a diner of some sort. Maybe I'll hold the, the Alt key, ring select that one, or loop select. That's going to be the entrance, Control r a few times first, actually. I don't want to make smaller windows. So deselect those two. I to inset twice to get individual windows. Alt E to extrude long face normals, just a little bit. Make blue windows. Here we'll make an entrance. So I'll do I to inset, I have to press twice, scale X. E to extrude it in and I to inset that one. Control plus first to make it dark. Control minus on the keypad and make a glass door there as well. And here we could make uh, one of those uh, what do you call those uh, things that are on top of things? It's like a marquee thing. E to extrude. Like shift D to duplicate that face first. E to extrude. E to extrude again. Move that face down. Control R. Let's do eight cuts. So we hopefully get an uneven amount here. Or is it even? <laughs> I don't know. Shift Alt. Click select to loop select those. Shift select those. And shift select those. 
and then do G and make those red. A bit diner-like. Maybe we'll select a few things on the roofs here as well. That could be maybe some coolant things or fans or AC it's called, air condition. <laughs> e to extrude, height inset, E to extrude down, control plus. Maybe they look a little bit too uniform, but I'll have to be okay with that. Okay, the post office, maybe that they can't afford as nice windows. <laughs> so let's do control R first. Actually, I keep forgetting. And then shift deselect those. I to inset twice. Alt E to extrude along base normals and G, also blue windows. And here, maybe they've got some fancier windows here, whatever this building is. So they've got corner windows, hey, fancy. So I twice, Alt E to extrude long face normals. And blue as well. Okay, here's gonna be the car wash. So I to inset that one, bring it down so the cars can actually get in. <laughs> e to extrude inwards. Here I'll do, uh, let's make that dark in there. So G, move there. Here, Shift D, scale it down, and then uh, right click and subdivide that one, and then do F3, circle, that's the loop tool add-on, E to extrude, and then L to select link and make a red brush thing. Can a car even fit there? <laughs> scale, Shift Y, make it a little bit smaller, maybe. like this. That should do. Okay, here, maybe a back door here. Not in like an IT security type of backdoor, just a, a literal backdoor, maybe brown. Here could be also some shed, maybe. Not a shed, why, why would there be a shed in here? I don't know. <laughs> that could be a window. Okay, let's make a dumpster back here. Shift D, scale Y, move it. E to extrude, E to extrude again, scale, E to extrude. What does the dumpster look like? Maybe like this will do. I'll L to select the link to G. It has to be green, I guess. <laughs> I to inset. Let's make an open one. E to extrude and move that one down to there. Make it dark there. Okay, so we've got a door here for the post office. I to inset. E to extrude. Maybe it'll do a little bit darker there. But they've only got one actual door here. I to inset that one. E to extrude. Well, it's going to be glass as well. Maybe we'll make a little roof sticking out here. I to inset, E to extrude. Move it down, maybe. Control plus, maybe it could be orange. So, we've got the car wash there. Maybe that could have some utility boxes here. So, I to inset that one, E to extrude. Control plus, let's make that great. Some water pipes and things. Okay, we have uh, 354. Okay, I have to do something here as well. So, this is going to be the entrance. For this one, I to inset, E to extrude, I to inset, it goes in a little bit, fancy entrance, control R, alt select these, I to select, I to inset twice, to get individual, and now they can be blue as well. So that's going to be, okay, we have to have something down here as well, I to inset, to make, uh, let's see, alt E to extrude long face normals, that could be something down there. Alt select these, I to inset these twice. I'm not sure what these look like. Alt E to extrude. <laughs> That's it. Okay. And uh, three minutes. Okay, let's put a little, uh, maybe a flower bed or a grass. Well, just something with some grass in here. I to inset twice, E to extrude. <laughs> Make it brown, like dirt. I to inset, E to extrude. Control plus, make it green just. And here it could be a fountain. They've wasted the, the postal stamp money here now on the <laughs> little fancy stuff in front of their building. E to extrude, height inset, E to extrude. That could be like a little fountain. Red. Okay, and that's it. Here is a back door as well. Height inset, E to extrude, and make a brown one there. Maybe a bin here as well. Shift D, scale it down, make it green. E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude. <laughs> S to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude. And then I'll bring that one up too, like that. So two minutes, 15. Maybe they can have a, a wider window here as well. I to inset scale on the Z axis, bring it up. Alt E to extrude long face normals and G to move it to a blue. Okay, we can put some text here maybe. So. Shift right click there, Shift A, let's do text, rotate, X90. 
We have to go into the A tab here and do geometry. We have to extrude it. Yep, there. And then shift space G. Losing my voice again. So tab, we could say maybe car wash. And then we have to scale it down. And bring it in, move it out to there. Okay, and then shift D to duplicate that one. Let's put uh, text here as well. They've used the same sign company apparently. <laughs> so it's gonna look very similar. Bring it up to there, but it can't say car wash there. It has to say, what, little diner or something? Little diner, <laughs> creative name, not. One minute to go. Okay, so I have to colorize this. Maybe it should look a little bit more interesting. Right click and do convert to mesh. Right click, convert to mesh. And then we have to pick both of these and change their shading to uh, the same material here. Material, so we can colorize them. Tab, A scale, zero on the left here. Okay, we've got a problem here. So shading, come on, why didn't it change the material? Here, did that one? Yeah, that one worked. Scale zero on the UVs, let's make it red. And again, it's literally the same sign company because this one's red too. <laughs> so 32 seconds to go. Let's uh, duplicate this bin here, like Shift D. They need a bin maybe there as well. And they have to have a bin over here, rotate. It's a little bit on this slant there. Okay, and they can have like a little entrance thing here as well. So 10 seconds to go. Shift D, move it in, scale, scale Z, E to extrude. L. Ah, that's it. <laughs> okay, the strangest uh, entrance thing ever. Okay, and we tab. And now we have to look what it looks like in isometric mode as well. So, because uh, this is still perspective, but if I press five on the keypad, it'll probably look a bit strange. So, but if you've ever seen those pixel art things, uh, I'll uh, minimize the right panel there. This is usually the perspective that they'll have on a on the pixel art. What do you think, guys? Does this look super weird to you? If I go back into perspective mode, it feels a little bit more like it should. And I was thinking this was just the lower part of a building, so I didn't necessarily go for any details up there. So I wanted to frame it something like this, just so you could have something shooting out of frame a little bit. So I'd, I'd, I still prefer it with real perspective. But again, I'd love to hear what your comments are. So put in the comments, guys, what you prefer. Do you like the isometric? non-perspective one or do you like the perspective view here so let's see what the comments say <laughs> nothing groundbreaking in this episode uh, it was uh, stuff that you've seen all along all the time it's going to be it's a lot of e to extrude s to scale i to inset i to inset and, and often i press twice on i to get the individual insetting and then alt e to extrude along the normals inwards to get the windows so what should the tip be then Something that I made a little bit different, even if it's not that groundbreaking, and you might not already know this, but this is the first time I've used text in one of my scenes. And to use text, I did the shift right click to place my 3D cursor, and then I did shift A, and then I added text. And it's a bit strange, and maybe you don't really know how to edit this text, because I would have maybe expected it to be like a text input field here on the right, when you have this text, uh, one the object data properties here selected. But the way to edit the text is actually the same way you edit objects. So you press tab on the object and you get a little cursor here. So maybe that's a little bit confusing, but then you can delete the text and put low poly here. And now it's a bit hidden. So I'll tab out of edit mode and then see there. And by default, this one is really, really flat. So uh, there's also here, you can go into, uh, like I did in the video. Let's see, where was it? Geometry, and then you can just slide this extrusion one up here and that'll make it thick to be a, a 3D object. And then this is actually a, a, some sort of a, a text shape now. So it's not a, a real mesh. So you can't press tab into edit mode to edit geometry or uh, things like that. So what you have to do, because if you press tab, you get to type in the text here. So what I did then was I right clicked on it and then did convert to mesh. And now if I press tab, then I actually see the the polygons so it becomes a 3d object then so that's going to be the tip for this week if you haven't used text before and if you haven't made it uh, automatically extruded and if you wanted to convert it to a mesh in the end that's how you do that
All right, guys, this is going to be it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this episode as well and uh, a lot of low poly stuff as usual. Check out the links in the description if you want to have a look at my merch. I'm rocking the default cube <laughs> at the moment. And then uh, I've also got a link to my Patreon site there if you want to have a play around. And I've got a Discord server as well. So hang out there if you want and uh, post your stuff that you're making and uh, make some friends. So hit a like if you liked the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you soon and check out that Unity tutorial that I'm making. I'll be releasing it very shortly now. So if you want to learn Unity, check that one out. Bye for now.